What's going on everybody? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day whenever you're watching this. I am currently 11 weeks out for my first ever bodybuilding show as of today. It is Saturday, July 29th and yeah, we're 11 weeks out, but I'm gonna take you guys through a full day eating, training, cardio, a uh, little bit of a cheat meal. Well, it's not a cheat meal. It's more of like a, a planned refeed, but we're gonna go to In-N-Out post-workout, which I'm very excited about because I've never had that before. But yeah, first things first, we're gonna whip up meal number one. It's gonna be chicken tenderloins, some rice cakes, some carrots. I'll show you guys the meal once it's put together. Go over the macros. For meal one, we've got six ounces of chicken tenderloins. This is one ounce more than I normally do since I'm gonna have a little more protein early in the day. Once again, saving up for that in and out burger and fries later. We have 100 grams of carrots and then four chocolate rice cakes. So I typically on my refeed or my diet break, I've been having like seven of these. Once again, we're saving calories, we're saving carbs and fat specifically for that in and out meal. This meal comes out to be 446 calories. 59 grams of carbs, five grams of fat, and then 44 grams of protein. So I'm gonna down this, then we're gonna go and do some cardio. Unfortunately, at home, I would take Maisie for a walk. I'd walk on my treadmill. I don't have access to either of those here. So we're actually gonna drive over to Isaac and Chana's apartment complex and use their treadmill for my morning cardio, and then we'll do the workout later in the day. So I'm actually gonna eat this, and then we got some cardio. Well, technically just steps. I just need to go get some steps in. You could do it outside, but honestly, I prefer to do it on the treadmill right now just with the Texas heat. I did get a little burnt yesterday. I don't know if you guys can tell. So my skin's a little bit warm and I honestly just love having my iPad just watching some anime scrolling through my phone it Makes the cardio or the steps go by extremely fast. So we're gonna go do that after um, I eat this meal Just like that, cardio is a wrap. We did uh, just under an hour. Let's see, we got a little under 7,000 steps. So great start to the day. Honestly, I'm watching this show or this movie called Psalm, which is basically all about like famous wine tasters. It's like very unique. I didn't think I'd like it, but it's just like how interesting it is to be so freaking good at something and like the top of your game. I don't know, it's kind of cool. So I'm about halfway through that. I'm gonna finish that when I get home, but we're gonna head home, need some Powerade, some water to rehydrate, and then not quite time for another meal yet. Probably hang out, finish up the movie Psalm. It's like, once again, on YouTube, you can watch it for free, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we'll head on home, and um, a good chunk of steps already done. A 
already is currently around 11.30. We are editing some videos, getting some content up, and I will say, don't get it twisted. Um, being a YouTuber, uh, online coach, it's basically a glorified desk job. I am pretty much at my desk whenever I'm not filming at the gym. I'm at my desk doing client work, editing videos, content, whatever it is. I mean, I wouldn't change it for the world, but it is Saturday at 11.30 and I'm sitting at my desk editing videos rather than doing something fun. But I will say, also in Houston, I feel like there's honestly not a ton of stuff to do. I'm down here alone. If I was home, it might be a little bit different. I'd be hanging out with family, friends, Katie, whatever it is. But I will say right now, I mean like, it's just every day on repeat. It's like gym, cardio, sit at this desk. Gym, cardio, sit at this desk. Which, I mean, once again, wouldn't trade it for the world, but just wanna give you guys a realistic look. I'm probably sitting at this desk or at my desk at home for at least eight to nine hours, seven days a week doing some sort of content creation or coaching. So don't get twisted, but I do love what I do. And I guess it helps keep me busy, right? Because as far as prep goes, um, obviously I have my next meal probably in like a half hour or so, but being busy is a cheat code. I swear, if you're trying to diet, if you're trying to lose some body fat, if you're not trying to think about food, whatever it is. So being busy is a cheat code right now for me as far as kind of staying on track with everything, the diet, the workouts, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I think I might have a special series coming up close to the end of prep to keep me extra busy, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, I need to do a little bit more editing, render a couple clips, and then we're gonna have meal number two. Here we are with meal number two. We've got 200 grams of broccoli, six ounces of chicken tenderloin, 300 grams of strawberries, as well as one fresca. So this is gonna be our pre-pre-workout meal. We have one more meal before we hit the gym, and then in and out afterwards. But this meal comes out to be 329 calories, 38 grams of carbs, two grams of fat, and 47 grams of protein. Once again, high protein, relatively, I would say moderate to low carb, and then very low fat, because we're saving all of our fat for that In-N-Out meal, which I'm looking forward to more and more. I have always heard really good things about In-N-Out. Five Guys is my personal favorite burger, so we'll see how it compares. But um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this, hang out for a little bit, do some more editing, and then, yeah, probably have our next meal, I don't know, around 3, 3.30. Wait for that to digest, get to the gym around 4.35, that kind of thing. And then, um, yeah, today's workout is also going to be a little bit different. We're going to be doing a push day. I haven't done a push day in a long time, but I'm going to be working out with a friend, Anthony, on Tuesday, and it's going to be back and buys. So I'm going to basically, instead of doing chest and arms, back and shoulders, I'm going to pull shoulders from the back workout and put it with the chest and arms and pull the biceps from the chest and arms workout and put it with the back. So we're gonna do actually push pull legs for the first three workouts this week. But without further ado, see you guys in the next meal. Here we are with meal number three, also our pre-workout meal. It is 595 calories, 104 grams of carbs, five grams of fat, and 39 grams of protein. It is two packets of our quick oats. It's one scoop of Transparent Labs isolate whey protein. That's where most of the protein's coming from. A splash of almond milk to mix that in. Then we have 25 grams of natural peanut butter as well as two bananas. I actually ate one banana and then chopped one up. That's where most of the carbs are coming from, obviously, as well as the oatmeal. Once again, this is a staple in my diet, I think. Hopefully until the end of prep as far as once again, I will have to go a little bit lower on carbs eventually but Right now the pre-workout meal is where most of my carbs are gonna be and this is absolutely my favorite meal right now I wish I could eat this honestly for every single meal if it was actually kind of reasonable to do without further ado I'm gonna have this then we need to head to the gym We have a push workout then in and out afterwards. I will say I'm definitely feeling a bit more tired today I feel like my eyes just kind of feel a bit heavier. Not sure if it's because it's later in the day. I normally work out like before noon and now it's coming up on 3 p.m. Not sure exactly what it is, but we'll have some caffeine via an energy drink before we head to the gym. So that should hopefully help get the blood flow going at least for the workout itself. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna dig into this. I'll see you guys at the energy drink review. Time for the one sip review. We have the Monster Ultra Watermelon, I believe is what it's called. A uh, little skeptical. I mean, the can looks awesome. It looks like a Christmas can. Not exactly sure how watermelon fits in with Christmas, but I guess it depends what part of the world you live in, right? So here we go. Look, does look red. I just feel like watermelon's so hard to hit. Yeah, not not a fan. Not a huge fan. It's like a super artificially watermelon. Not anything like an actual watermelon, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't I don't like that, honestly. Shoot, and like I mean, I'm not gonna go inside and get a new energy drink or anything like that. But this is definitely something I will not seek out again. I am a little bit bummed I spent whatever three dollars on this can. I'm gonna drink it solely for the fact that I do need the caffeine right now. I'm pretty low on energy. Outside of that, um, this is gonna get a oh gosh, that's a little bit bummer. I normally love my energy drinks from my way to the gym. This is gonna get a, a four eight from me. So yeah, the uh, Ultra Watermelon Monster four eight for me. Never gonna get this again. 
All right, now let's head to the gym. Push workout. Yeah. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. We don't give a f that's what they don't understand. I'm back again like flu season, I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming now on my roof leaving. Don't give a f I don't care. Uh, did the f on my lonesome, no wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run, all I really want is my share. Show mo, show bo, robo, wave ride. Cool shot it too, naughty pool party, wet for the face ride. Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old. I'm on eight now, can't get a pass now. I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now. It's trash now, I'm a spaz out. I've been killing my lows and living on highs. You see in the skies the proof. You could just see in my eyes that there is no lies. I cannot disguise the truth. I've been duck dog, get it. In my new merch, color duck sauce on the new couch with my chuck song. Get the f on with that hate. I'm big cool on the small chat, cause I know now that I'm all that. Got a hot guy on the ball cat. Get the f out of my face. Uh. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately, I've been living like I can't take a loss. All right, we are currently in line for In-N-Out. This line is insane. It's probably a solid 25 to 30 cars deep, and um, I've already been waiting for about 15 minutes. So hopefully it's worth it. Once again, I'm comparing to Five Guys. I realize Five Guys is a bit more calories. I think a Five Guys burger is like almost 900, and then their Double Double's on like 670. So I guess that has a slight impact on it. But yeah, we're gonna get a classic Double Double and a fry and yeah we'll probably take it home and do a full review go over the macro stuff like that but um we'll see how long the drive it is because i do want to try it hot so i might just park and do a food review in the car but we'll see how long it takes we're gonna roll with the good old-fashioned car review because i'm gonna give this thing the best chance it gets um with giving a review so it looks like we got some ketchup in there we got our diet coke as well wow there's not much fizz in that there's not much um like carbonation to it but Tastes like a Diet Coke. And then we've got the Double Double. I got no onion, but looks like classic 
cheeseburger. We got our lettuce, tomato. Looks like, I think maybe like a, a burger sauce or something, some sort of sauce. And then our fries as well in the bottom of the bag. Hopefully you guys can see those. Boom. No animal style fries this time, just because of the fact that I am still on prep. We're going to make this work with the macros. So real quick, I'll go over the macros for this meal. As I mentioned, um, the burger's like 670 calories. I think the fries like 395. Let me pull this up and then we can dig in to the actual meal. So let's see. Do -do -do today. Oh, here we go. Okay, so in and out the double double burger as well as a small fry comes out to be 1065 calories, 93 grams of carbs, 59 grams of fat, and 44 grams of protein. So the reason I saved up all my fat for this meal is because it is 59 grams. So I will be going a little bit over my refeed or my diet break fat goals. But you know what, 10 15 grams over on the fat, drop the carbs down a little bit, I think we're going to be okay. Um, you know what, let's try some of these fries why they're hot and ready they look all right nothing crazy well they smell really good though mm. those are good they also remind me of a little bit of a mcdonald's fry as far as the like thickness the crunch there's like i don't know everything just reminds me of mcdonald's fry see that those are damn good fries. So I will say those are really good fries. Not quite as good as McDonald's, but very, very similar in like size, shape, taste, all that good stuff. But now we got the double double. Looks like they put a bunch of wrapping on it. Let's see here. All right. So I'm going to take it all out. All right. Here we go. Cheers. First ever double double from In-N-Out. Wow, that is honestly really good. Bun's good, the smashed patty is solid, lots of cheese, looks like two slices of cheese, like one on the top bun and then one in between. Good lettuce, fresh tomato. Looks like we do have a little bit of pickle in there. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like little pieces of pickle. Hopefully I can see some of that. So instead of whole pickles, it looks like chopped up pickles. I did get no onions just because I, I feel like onions always overpower a burger. So we did not do that. But I'm a big fan. This is really, really good. The burger sauce seems like it's a, like a mayo base, but a little bit thinner than that. I mean, all around, this is a really good burger. I'm, I'm really tempted to put it up there with five guys. I just... Honestly, maybe if I got triple, I don't know how I could get three. I know there's a way to do like three burgers on here. If I could do three burgers on here, it would be the same amount of beef as a Five Guys burger. I think it'd be right up, right up there with a Five Guys burger. But since it is a little less beef, I think Five Guys still has my heart on this one. But this is a phenomenal burger. Honestly, probably my second favorite burger as far as like medium speed or fast food restaurants go. I guess Five Guys is technically like a medium speed and this would be definitely fast food burger. This is the best fast food burger if you consider Five Guys medium speed, but I do prefer Five Guys over this just a touch. Once again, I, if I had three or four patties on here, that might change everything. Well, in and out did not disappoint in the slightest. Honestly, I think I probably have another three double doubles and those fries, they actually grew on me. The more I ate them, the better they started to taste. I think those might be very, very well up there with some of the best fast food fries I've ever had, as well as the best fast food burger. If you consider Five Guys more of a medium speed, since I don't think I've ever been to a Five Guys with a drive through as far as I can think of. Honestly, the burger better than McDonald's, better than Wendy's, better than Shake Shack, better than Whataburger. That is by far with a drive through fast food, the best burger and fries I've ever had. I'm very, very sad I couldn't get a milkshake as well. Next time I have it in and out, I will for sure get two double doubles, animal style fries and a shake because I will not be on prep next time I have it is my guess. But in and out fantastic, did not disappoint. Very, very glad I spent some of my calories on this today. But yeah, let's go head home and then I need to 
shower, and then we also have one meal left, our protein pudding. Um, and I'll show you guys how to make that because I feel like occasionally um, people don't know what it is, so I'll show you guys how to make that as well. But yeah, wow, <laughs> I feel so much better. I was so tired earlier today, like exhausted earlier today. And a workout, some good food, and a nice pump, I mean, it changes the vibe of everything. But yeah, let's get home and I'll also do a full kind of like recap instead of doing it on Sunday. I'll actually do that tonight as I eat my protein pudding. I'll give you guys an update on the like 11 weeks out, what happened this past week, stuff like that. So let's head home and wrap up the video. It is now time to make our casein protein pudding. It is super simple. Well, actually it's only two ingredients, but it does take a little bit of time to perfect exactly how much almond milk you need. But it's gonna be casein protein. As you can see right there, it has to be casein. It cannot be whey. It cannot be a casein protein whey blend. It has to be just casein protein as well as some almond milk. So I'm using this almond breeze right here, 30 calories. It's unsweetened vanilla flavored. If you're gonna use like whole milk 2%, the numbers might be slightly different, but I've actually never weighed all this out. So I'm gonna weigh out a scoop for you and see exactly how much milk we actually need. But I'm gonna go ahead, start with a scoop of our protein. Go ahead, top that off. So it looks like one scoop it came out to be 46 grams. So that's a little bit more than the actual serving size on the bottle, but that's okay. It's close enough. I think the serving size is like 40 grams on the actual scoop, but we had 46 grams of protein. So we're gonna go ahead and zero that out so we can see exactly how much almond milk we're gonna add. At first, I'm gonna eyeball it. And once again, I've made this a lot, so I'm pretty good at guesstimating now. We're gonna go with 200 grams. Actually, okay. 222 grams, sorry, 224 grams to be exact. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a quick mix and see if it's enough. I think it's gonna be enough, but we'll go ahead and give it a quick mix and see. Once again, when you first start to mix it, it's not gonna look right, but you have to give it time, so a uh, quick little time lapse. All right, so honestly, we kind of messed up. It is a little too runny and watery right now. So we actually need to add a little bit of protein powder in to kind of thicken it up. And this is once again, a little bit of an eyeball method. So we know 220 grams is a little too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple dashes in there. That should be enough to thicken it up. That's probably maybe another five grams or so. So let's go ahead and give that a quick mix. Oh yeah, I can already tell that's gonna help. And for me, this is just about perfect. So hopefully you guys can see the consistency there. It's a little runny, but still very much pudding-like. You can go a little bit thicker if you want, but for me, this is like absolute perfect consistency. So I would say it's me one scoop of casein protein, 220 grams of all milk with a little bit much. So I'd say maybe go with 200 and see if you need to add any more, but I'd say 200 grams of all milk is probably a sweet spot. And then you get this nice consistency. Then once again, I'm gonna throw this in the freezer to let it cool down and thicken up a little bit, become a little bit more like an ice cream. So I'm gonna throw that in there. It looks like we are spilling a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna throw that in there and we'll talk about the happy scale and how week um, 12 to week 11 went as far as progress and all that kind of stuff. Also, post-workout, I did have my creatine and post. I didn't show that, but um, I'll throw up like a quick little post-workout what I had, the Powerade, the creatine, the post, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, always take your creatine every day. And it's that time of the week to go over pretty much how things are going. I'll throw up happy scale on the screen there. We'll start with the month report so far. So once again, low weigh-in so far has been 157.6. That was definitely probably a dehydrated weigh-in plus using the restroom in the morning. As you guys saw, the weight came back up pretty quick. Right now we're at a trend line about 0.5 down per week. Um, let's see, minus 3.2 pounds versus last month and then 2.2 pounds down last 29 days. But as you guys can see, the graph has pretty much leveled out and if not slightly gone up a little bit. And that was one due to the fact that we probably were kind of close to needing to drop the calories again. And then instead of dropping the calories, we actually started to do a diet break because a combination of a few things. So one, my energy was starting to get pretty low. I noted um, when we were in Austin the day after and the next day on Monday, I was very, very low energy. So obviously that's a big thing as far as the sleep was fine. Energy in the gym was still good. It was just like outside the gym, I was just like, like eyes were heavy constantly, which kind of like honestly today a little bit too. But then we decided, okay, let's go ahead and do a diet break now. And then we'll go ahead and cut the calories basically starting on Monday. So I get one more day of the higher calories, the 2,700 calories tomorrow. And then we're gonna drop the calories down to about 1,750, 1,800 and really dig. And the biggest thing there is, not that I was ahead of schedule, which I guess it kind of was, but there are planned diet breaks throughout a typical prep. Once again, 
if you see people doing 12 to 16 week preps, um, unless they're enhanced, they're probably doing it wrong. I've done shorter preps um, before, or I have shorter cuts before, and you start to, once again, be so food driven, have low energy, low strength, lose a lot of mass as well. And this cut has been a lot slower, but also I've noticed like pretty much none of those side effects. But just being single digit body fat is because what's gonna have the effect, not the fact that I try to lose weight too quickly. So obviously we're gonna see this weight probably come down quite a bit in August, September. My guess is my stage weight or my low weight will probably be honestly around like 150 to 152. Stage weight might be a little bit more because we'll carve up to the show. But the biggest thing I realize is I'm so much of a planner just in my daily life. I want to have like the YouTube videos scheduled, ready to upload, already done like two or three days in advance. But with the bodybuilding show, you don't want to be ready two or three weeks before you actually need to be. You just want to be ready just in time for your show. So a big thing that although once again on happy scale, it looks like I kind of take a step back, right? You can set, kind of see the, the scale levels off and if not, it kind of goes up. Like today was like a 160, let's go to the log book, was a 160.2 weigh in. I'm like, wait, what the heck? I was just like 157, 158 and I'm 160. Like I'm going backwards. But in the grand scheme of things, I needed to take that step back in order to once again, continue to progress over the next 11 weeks. I still have 11 weeks to go. I do not need to be stage lean right now. I do not need to be stage lean in seven weeks. I need to be stage lean in 11 weeks. So that's the biggest thing I'm kind of trying to wrap my head around is I'm once again, I'm a planner. I'm a type A person. I want to plan. I want to schedule. I want to be ahead of the schedule. I want to be ready beforehand, but bodybuilding prep is one of the things where you don't want to be ready beforehand. You don't want to be super, super four, five, 6% body fat any longer than you actually have to. So that's what I'm kind of wrapping my head around because once again, I would rather be ready now and be like, oh, I'm 11 weeks out, I'm ready to go. But that would just be the wrong idea. So definitely learning as I go, first bodybuilding prep ever. But yeah, as you guys saw, basically over the last couple days, the refeeds, the weight has gone up. So we had a, um, back on the 24th, Monday, the 24th, 159, 158, 159, 159, 158, 160. Obviously due to the increase in calories, having more carbs, holding more water, I definitely noticed I'm not quite as sharp as I was. I definitely filled out, so I feel like a little bit fuller, but I'm not as sharp as I was before the refeed, before this diet break. Um, but yeah, overall, that is what my happy scale is looking like. Mentality is good. Energy is definitely a little bit lower. I just need to stay busy. As long as I have something to do, I'm good to go. But like today when I had basically like an hour break in, or I guess two hours between a bunch of editing, a meal, and then before going to the gym, I just like threw on some anime and I fell asleep during it because I didn't have something to do. But as soon as I got to the gym, one, you will never regret a workout. I absolutely loved today's workout. Even though I didn't want to go, the energy drink sucked beforehand, which trust me, that's like a big bummer for me because I love my white monster and the fact that I traded that out for a shitty monster. I honestly shouldn't have finished that. I should have come in and grabbed a white monster, but regardless, I went through it. But you will never regret a workout. As long as you don't train stupid and get injured, you will never regret a workout. I felt so good by the end of that workout today. It was a little bit longer of a workout, took some longer rest times, but the workout was great. I felt really good posing. Uh, obviously, having some in and out was amazing to have like a, like, one, once again, a planned cheat meal fit in my refeed calories. But yeah, I mean, overall, oh, real quick, I'll also read the calories for the the uh, pudding, the what, what do I call it? Protein pudding in the freezer. So I'll be adding 200 grams of blueberries onto that pudding you guys saw a minute ago, and that will be 254 calories, 34 grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and 27 grams of protein. And that is gonna bring our day total today to 2,689 calories, 328 grams of carbs, 74 grams of fat, and exactly 200 grams of protein. So with the in and out meal, I basically took a little bit of carbs since I was supposed to get 400 grams of carbs and moved them a little bit to fat. So I took about an extra 25 grams of fat and took the carbs out, but that's not a big deal right now. I even talked to my coach about it. He's like, okay, when we're like four or five weeks out, we definitely wanna keep it all carbs and low fat, but right now we're totally cool. If you wanna take a little bit of calories from carbs and move it to fat and vice versa. So I do have a little bit of freedom there, but once again, it's like a once a week thing Thing that I might fit a meal into my macros where everything else is pretty much set in stone. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm talking a lot. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments below, but I'll go and wrap things up here. Um, but yeah, overall, nutrition's good, going well. Obviously, a diet break was very, very helpful. We do plan to cut calories next week, so hopefully we'll see some weight drop. Um, my guess is, once again, we probably have another I would say anywhere between five to eight pounds to lose. Just a matter of going for a look. Even after dropping the 140s, I don't care at this point. I just want to be in the absolute best package I possibly can with the best condition I possibly can since I know I might not be the biggest guy on stage. I have a lot of growing to do this off season. 
Um, but yeah, honestly, really, really enjoying the process so far. Super excited to honestly go home and get back home into the routine of my cold plunge in the morning, my walks with Maisie, um, my saunas in the evening, my workouts at Dixie. So as much as I do like my time down here, it's been great. I do um, get a little bit homesick. I miss my family. I miss Maisie. I miss the routine I had at home. I feel it was just unreal. But we're going to go home. Um, we're home for like five days, go to Charleston. But the last eight weeks of prep will be dialed in. You can count on that. But yeah, without further ado, on the video here. Thank you guys so much for following along the journey, tuning in to this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.